everyone, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my meals with you. I'm gonna be sharing what I eat throughout the day on a keto, low carb, ketovore diet. I eat very heavy meat-based and I try to eat the cleanest ingredients that I can possibly find. It is eight o'clock in the morning and I'm getting ready to put a pot roast in my slow cooker that cook all day long and we're gonna have that later for dinner and I'll just whip up a couple of things to have with it later on, but I like to let it cook on a low setting all day long. Before I get this started, this morning I've already had a glass of water and I've had two small cups of black coffee. I intermittent fast and when I am fasting, I just drink water and black coffee or plain tea. Ed just went out the door to go to physical therapy and later on when he gets back, we will decide what we're gonna have for breakfast and we'll show you what, have, what we're having then. I wanna show you my slow cooker real quick. Um, it has this insert in it, it's lightweight and you can sear your meat on the stove right in this and then bring it over and put it in your uh, slow cooker. I'm gonna go ahead and sear this roast. I have for my oil of choice that I'm gonna be using today, my cooking oil, my plain old bacon grease. I save all my bacon grease. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this out of here. I'm gonna take this insert over to my stove top and I'm just gonna set it on the stove top. I'll just take you with me so I can show you. So hold on. All right, so set this right on top of my stove top and it has these, these, these handles. I don't know what the material is, but they don't get hot. And so you can just pick this up, carry it right over to your slow cooker, put it back in, and it works great. So we, we got this roast from Butcher Box. They sent us a box to review. And so far, every single thing that we have used from Butcher Box has tasted delicious. And so it's a very good quality meat. And this is about a two and a half pound roast. And I'm gonna pull this out of here. I'm gonna lay my phone down for a second and get this out of here. So I have this seasoning right here. Now you all know that I use the farm dust. I'll show you that. We use that all the time on a lot of things. It's delicious and it's a really fine like salt and pepper blend has, um, I'll put this here so you can see the ingredients. You might have to pause it. I hope it's clear. This is a new seasoning blend that I picked up from the Amish market the last time I went to get my farm dust. And it's similar to the farm dust, it just has a couple different ingredients. It's more coarse, and this is delicious on meat. We used it yesterday on our ribs. We made some ribs for our 4th of July. If you go to the community tab here on YouTube, you'll be able to see pictures of our meals that we had yesterday for the 4th of July. It was a wonderful day. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this seasoning on here. And then my bacon grease is getting pretty hot here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here, season side down. All right, while that side is searing, I'm going to sprinkle some of the seasoning on the top here. And I will tell you, I don't know if you've ever seared your meat in bacon grease, but it tastes delicious and right now it smells incredible and so i'm gonna let this just go for i don't know maybe three minutes and then i'm gonna flip it over and crust it up on the other side i don't know if that's the proper you know word but i'm gonna let it sear on the other side i think that's the right word to use and then i'm going to be right back all right i'm back i'm gonna go ahead and flip this over Hopefully I can do this with one hand, hold my phone in the other. And I gotta lay the phone down. All right, I'm going to let this cook for another three minutes or so, and then I will meet you over at my slow cooker. All right, so got that nice crust on there. I'm gonna put this in the slow cooker. I have some onion here. This is about a half an onion, just sliced up. And I have three garlic cloves that I just crushed with my knife. And so I'm gonna put that in there. If you don't do onions or garlic, you can leave that out. All right, so I also have some beef broth here and I'm just gonna pour 
Um, I don't like to completely cover the meat with broth. Um, I'm probably only gonna pour about a half a cup of broth in here. All right, put the lid on and I have to put my glasses on for this part and my um, display is on the other side. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna put the mode, it's on high. I wanna put it on, let's see, can't see. I'm gonna put this on low because I'm gonna let it cook all day long and I'm gonna put it on about seven hours and that's it. We're just gonna let it sit here all day and I'll be back later on when we have our first meal. See you then. I have a different camera angle right now. Um, I have my little short tripod here. I just grabbed it because I was gonna mix up some cinnamon and sugar. I'm gonna be using monk fruit. Um, we're gonna have cinnamon toast with our breakfast today and I am all out of cinnamon and sugar. It's actually monk fruit, granular monk fruit that I'm gonna be using as my sugar sweetener. So um, I'm gonna mix it up in this cute little mason jar. These are adorable. I found these on Amazon and I have a bunch of these with my spices in them. And so I had a spare one. So I thought I would use this because normally I just mix it up and put it in a baggie. And uh, this time I'm gonna class it up a little bit. So I have some granular monk fruit sweetener here and I don't really measure it out, honestly. I just do mostly sweetener and then I add a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm gonna just figure it out here. This is a teaspoon. So that's four. This is like a little, I don't know what this is, maybe a two ounce jar. Five. Six, let's do, let's do eight teaspoons in this little jar. All right, see that little bit of room on top? You don't need much room for the cinnamon because the cinnamon will overpower it if you put too much cinnamon. It's a really good brand of cinnamon. I like this kind of cinnamon. And I'm just gonna open this up and I'm going to, um, you know what? I'm just figuring it out as I go. All right, I'm gonna open up the little pour thing. Probably only gonna put um, that's about a teaspoon. Let's do two teaspoons. I don't know what the exact ratio should be for cinnamon and sugar. I just know that I eyeball it when I make it. And so I'm getting it all over the countertop. All right, I don't wanna waste this. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it in my jar. My counters are clean. I love clean, sanitized countertops. All right, put the lid on, give it a little shake. And I just kind of look at it and see what the um, color is. I kind of go by the color. I think that's gonna be great. Later on when we have our cinnamon toast, I'll show you what we're gonna be using for our bread. And we're gonna have some great sweetened cinnamon to put on our bread. I'll be back. All right, I'm making my coffee and I'm gonna be making some Nespresso. This is the Malazio pods. Let me show you the pods. I have a lot of people that ask me questions about Nespresso. And this is what it looks like. This is the decaf actually. That little red ring means this is decaf. Um, this is the Malazio blend. And this just makes really foamy coffee. And it's delicious. And so while that's filling, I have my collagen. I put in a scoop, of, a scoop of this collagen every day in my coffee. I don't do it in the mornings anymore when I'm fasting. Usually when we eat our first meal, I have another cup of coffee. And I have my heavy cream in here and my little milk frother. And I'm going to get that all whipped up. 
And I closed this without putting the scoop in it. I have a code, a coupon code for Equip. They have great protein powders, supplements, and I love this unflavored collagen in my coffee. All right, when this is done, I just take my little whisk and whisk this up because I wanna whisk that collagen in there, get it all dissolved. And then as soon as my cream is done frothing over here, I'm going to pour it in. All right. I didn't put that much in there, so I don't think it's going to be really frothy. All right. And there's my coffee. I'm going to go over here and have some breakfast. Hi, Callie. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right, so this is the toast that we're going to be having for our cinnamon toast this morning. This is protein sparing modified fasting bread. This is made out of egg white powder. I have done videos on this. I will link one at the end of this video. This is, uh, I, I use Maria Emmerich's recipe and I just make it in a regular toaster. You can also put this in the air fryer to uh, toast it up but the air fryer is being used right now for bacon. So I'm just gonna toast it in the toaster. It doesn't take quite as long to toast as traditional bread does. I have my cinnamon with sweetener right here and butter, and we're gonna get this all together and I'll be back. Bacon, two pieces of bacon, three scrambled eggs, no cheese today, just salt, and my cinnamon toast. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell on this side how it toasted up, but it toasts up pretty good. Coffee, we're gonna eat and we'll be back later. All right, I seen something on Instagram and I wanted to try it. I took some pickle juice that I had from leftover pickles and I used some ranch seasoning. This is Flavor God ranch seasoning. Sprinkled some of that into the pickle juice and then I whisked it up and then I took some chicken breast tenderloins and I wanted to marinate them in this pickle juice because I heard that it's really good to do this. So I took some and put them in the jar one by one, ended up getting about eight chicken tenderloins in this jar. And I am going to seal this jar up and put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for a couple of hours. And then in a little while, when we have our pot roast, I'm gonna have this as a side. I take these and bread them with my crispy breading and see how they turn out. So I'm in the garage. I wanna show you my new purchase. We just rode out to the town of Tawas and I bought a new e-bike. Um, I have a bike, it is a beach cruiser bike. It's very old and it is very hard to ride on the sandy roads here. We have sand and gravel and the sand is very shifty. And so I have been researching and looking online at e-bikes and I thought that, you know, that is something that I would, I wanna get. So um, I found out that there is a little business in Tawas, Michi Michigan. So if you are in Tawas and you are looking to rent a bike, there is a business called Charlie Horse that you can go and you can rent a bike by the hour and he has regular bikes and he has um, e-bikes and he also sells e-bikes. And so I went up there today and test drove one and I came back from my test drive. I went about a mile and I said, I have to have this. Go ahead and sign me up. Um, it's a fun little bike. It has the fat tires on it, perfect for the sandy roads up here. Um, it is uh, runs on battery and you have to start pedaling it and then you can just use the accelerator just to let the bike drive you um, as an assist or you can just ride it and pedal it and set it to whatever you know uh, resistance that you want. And so let me show you here. So, so here's my bike. It is so cool. It is avocado green. And I just love it. I just ordered a little bag that goes on the back of this from Amazon 
that, um, you know, you can throw stuff in. Like if I want to throw my phone in there or if I go check the mail or whatever, um, I'm going to have that. And this right here, I'm going to zoom in and show you. This is the business that I bought my bike from, Charlie Horse. Very nice guy. And this is the, he told me how to pronounce it, but I know I'm probably going to say it wrong. So that's the new, that's the name of the bike. I went and bought me a uh, helmet from Walmart right across the street there in Tawas because I don't want to ride this without a helmet. It can go 25, 30 miles an hour, depending on your weight, but it is just so cool. The big fat tires. Um, I just love it. He also changed out the seat for a really nice big comfy seat has these controls here has a bell this little control here where you can see how many miles you're going I'm gonna go ahead and go for a ride on this thing it was pouring rain when we came home I haven't been able to ride it yet so I'm gonna get on it now this actually folds up I forgot to mention that this folds up so that if you want to put it in the back of your car it folds up it is crazy how it folds up but um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take this for a ride and I will see you later. I just wanted to show you my new little bike. Okay, that was a load of fun. I went four miles and um, it was so much fun. I really broke this thing in. There's, it's been raining and there's mud puddles everywhere. And um, I really broke it in. I highly recommend this bike if you are shopping for e-bikes. All right, so this chicken has been marinating for a couple of hours. And I'm just gonna pull these out of here and I'm gonna dip them in egg. I'm not sure if they even need to be dipped into egg because they've got the pickle juice on them. I like how the egg causes the breading to really stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all breaded like this. And then these are all gonna go into my air fryer and I'm gonna air fry them and we'll let you know how they taste. All right, so it is time for dinner. And I'm going to show you Ed's plate here. This is the pot roast that I've been slow cooking all day today. And the chicken tenders. Ed, can you come over and try these chicken tenders? And this is my homemade ranch. And he has some Brussels sprouts. Something different. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make my, my plate. But I want him to try this chicken. I haven't tried it yet. So I marinated it. It's hot. So... He's my guinea pig. <laughs> Does it taste the same? <laughs> Come into the camera. Give him a minute. I'm gonna try it. It just tastes, um, try it, it tastes better. Go ahead. It just tastes better, like it has more flavor. Chick-fil-A. Um, Ain't got nothing on you. They, mar they, mar they use some kind of pickle marinade with their chicken, and that's where this idea comes from. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I can taste it. It's really good, it's, it's it's much better. It's like flavor explosion. Yeah, it's more, <laughs> it's more flavorful. It's a little saltier, mm -hmm. and the ranch, I have ranch in there, plus we're dipping it in ranch, so that might be not just any ranch, your homemade I know. awesome ranch. I'm gonna try another bite. I'm, t I'm taking all this chicken, but I wanna try it without the ranch dressing. Ooh, it's very hot. Mm -hmm. You can mm. taste it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yep. That crispy breading is the bomb.com bomb too. You can make Chick-fil-A like chicken sandwiches with that. Oh yeah. It's really good. I like it better mm -hmm. than my traditional chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. Really good. All right. So I'm going to be having um, roast and some of the chicken tenders and some ranch. And that's going to be it for the rest of the evening. All right. We're going to go ahead and sign off for tonight. So, um, really good. I hope you got more. Mm, I do. They're in the air fryer. So make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. <laughs> we'll see you really soon. Have a great day. God bless.